What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here again. This is going to be a short one. Uh, I just want to keep continuing with the knife sale, right? To bring some more stuff into test, which I want to thank a lot of you. I really do appreciate every single one of you that bought something last time. Um, you guys are helping the channel to, like I said, to get more content for you, to keep it going, man. I really do appreciate that. And hopefully, like I said, we're helping each other out. Uh, I'm giving you decent deals on this. And then, you know, you're helping me by, by uh, helping the channel, by letting me get more stuff to review. So win-win uh, for both, right? So I'm gonna keep that going, you know, and if you see anything you like, go ahead and uh, send me an email. I'll put the email right here and then uh, I'll keep it up the whole time so you guys can, can get that. And if you want anything, let me know, uh, uh, shoot me an email and we'll work something out. So uh, only shipping within the US and um, shipping is gonna be included. And uh, that's it. And then PayPal payment, you know, would be, the, uh, be the, the best option, either that or Zelle, if you guys wanna do it that way. Um, open for those two because all I have to really do it for <laughs> do it why and um, yeah let's start let's get started here so uh, the first one here I'm gonna go over is gonna be the uh, comes with awesome I like this this sheath is pretty nice pretty good quality sheath it's the Bobcat tracker knife so this is used right so that's why it's gonna be a lot cheaper than if you get it new I think new these sell right now for like 65 bucks on e Amazon I believe it is um, and I was usually the only one that sells it, but you can see here, um, there's some slight scratchings that it is used. I did use it for a review. You can go back and check the hardest review on this thing. How to break, no edge damage at all. Still razor sharp. Um, just, just awesome. Awesome. You know, so a little, see a little light scratching there, but nothing major. Uh, absolutely hundred percent functional knife. No, the handle scales aren't cracked or nothing's broken on this thing. Um, bitch and not bitch and knife. Nice big lanyard hole there. Uh, even have a front one here so you could. Do like a little band and put it in your hand here. Feels really good in the hand. Feels really, really good in the hand. A little secondary, just like tracker style, secondary edge here. Um, you got like a something for notching. It's not really for sawing, but like a notching tool up here. Uh, just bitching. And this one is made out of D2 steel. Um, just, just nice. So if you want this one, let me know. I'm gonna let this one go for 45 shipped. 45 bucks shipped. And these, these are like brand, brand new. I only used it once. I think once for a review. Um, brand new, these go for over 65, so pretty good deal. $45 shipped if you want that one. And then let's see here, go on to the next one. Helps me put it in the right side up, right? Next one here is the Wild Wild West buoy here. So uh, this one here, you can tell, look, it's, I think this one too, I only used once for chopping, like something in a, in a video. Other than that, it's brand new, look at that. There's no really no scrapes on it or nothing. It looks it's obviously almost going to mirror polish on it. It's showing my camera back in it. So um this one here, you can see no damage at all, has that rosewood handles. It's kind of, this one came in kind of dark, but it is a full tank, but it's a hidden full tank because you can see here the tang's all the way across here. Uh no damage to the handle at all. It's practically new. I do have the sheath for it. I can't find it. I'll post a picture of the sheath here so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I do have it. I'll I'll, I'll if you buy it, you'll definitely get the sheath with it. Um all these will have no original boxes. I'm just gonna throw them in a package and send them to you. Uh, but yeah, if you want this one, this one here, I'm asking 94 shipped. 90 shipped out the door. Um, these, I think you can find them for like 110, 120. Sometimes they go on sale too. But again, for the, for the, it's pretty much brand new. Look at that. For a brand new freaking knife, 90 bucks. Again, we're getting a, still a really good deal and you're hopping out the channel. All right, so now we're getting the uh, rare one here. This one here is, older recon one with that uh this one here has like the uh version is it's that like of the access lock and it's the cold stills original i think what they call i think they call it the ultra lock on these ones here um just freaking awesome though i mean it has really good action you know because i haven't used it it's pretty much brand new out of box but there you go but you gotta just fling it down a little bit but it works great um for the age of this these are like early 2000s uh, they didn't make that many of these because when uh, they got sued, I believe, by Axis, uh, by Axis, by Benchmade, because they the ones that made the Axis lock, they got sued by them, so they ended up uh, having to stop making these. So this is pretty rare. It's definitely a collector. Got a lanyard there, nice, solid G10 handles. They feel good, nice and tacky. Um, Oz 8 steel. This one here. See that cold steel? Even this coating, this coating's usually come off. This Teflon coating come off pretty easy, so they stopped doing that, but... Uh, this one is pretty much flawless, look brand new and look razor, razor sharp, this sucker, man. This thing's shape sharp. Uh, this one here, I just want to get what I paid for it. If you can give me 200 bucks, shipped is what I'm looking for it. Um, that's what I paid for it. So 
Um, if you're interested, let me know. Like I said, brand new, pretty much. Not used. Uh, bitchin', bitchin' knife right there. Collector for sure. And then I do have the, still have the Triple Trouble. If you're interested in this still, let me know. This one's freaking awesome as hell too. Uh, this one I'm asking 94 because it is, an, again, another older one. Uh, discontinued and it's unique. It is made in Spain. It's a Spanish made knife. It's not Taiwan or Japan or anything like that. Just freaking badass. Uh, just bitching. Just freaking bitching. And then comes with a secondary one, little... <laughs> EDC separate one. They're all like you said, really good. About got the brass pummel and guard on all of them, and then you got this one. Bink. <laughs> little baby knife, <laughs> but it's pretty cool how they intricate. They even grounded this one just like the other two bigger ones. So that's kind of unique, right? Gimmicky, yeah, but unique, kind of cool. This one does have a little bit of a tear right here, so if you know how to stitch stitches. But other than that, it's freaking the sheath is in pretty much brand new condition. It just needs that right there. The stitches went through, and this this one here is freaking razor sharp. So when I stuck it in it. Kind of went through the side there, but that's the only, only issue with it. Other than that, it's perfect sheath. So 90 bucks, um, I paid way over that when I bought this 20 years ago. So, uh, you know, just don't have room for it in my display case and I don't want to just have it sit there. So 90 bucks if you want it out the door. And then the next one is another discontinued knife. And pretty rare and good if you're a collector. If you like BK, if you like BK, if you like uh, Becker blades, way out here is the BK9. And this one here is the older one, the Camillus, which is even more collectible than the newer ones. Uh, this one here, mint condition. So for an early 2000s blade again, um, that's just dust, see that? For an early 2000s blade, razor, razor, freaking sharp. Um, right there is Pisces, pick it up here. This is Camillus right there. Not the, not the K bar, but it's the older Camillus one quarter inch thick 0170 steel freaking badass beautiful feels good hands heavier it's a heavier one than the, the old this one considerably chops a little better they're saying because of the weight of it um but of course you could argue the steel's a little better on the newer ones but again high carbon 0170 i never heard anyone complain about these busting so and the sheath nice that uh, nice sheath a little pouch here to keep stuff in this one here i'm asking 154 150 shipped your door which is a smoking deal for an older obsolete uh Camillus is not even in business making these styles anymore they lost the contract so now it's just uh uh k-bar so that's again it's a, a collector piece for sure and the last one is going to be this one here is the starfighter starfighter buoy and this like i said this one always does, gets a lot of hate i don't know people don't like this one this one is not a chinese or uh a Thai, uh not Taiwan, uh Pakistan blade. This is actually made in Japan in the early 90s. So I think people are thrown off by the holes and stuff like that, but it's considered called a Starfighter, but it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Kind of futuristic looking. Um, look at those beautiful handles. Nice like rosewood style handles. Um, this is a frost cutlery, but made in Japan. Cause I know people get scared of the frost cutlery because then a lot of the stuff's China stuff, but this was before they started going real cheap. This is more of the quality stuff. And feels good in hand. I mean, for a fighter, it's awesome. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be a bushcraft knife, but <laughs> for a nice little fucking futuristic fighter, that's it's awesome. It's awesome. And the sheath, leather, nice thick leather sheath. You know, you can't go wrong with that. So, this one here, I'm asking 84, 80 bucks for shipped. If you want it, let me know. All right, guys. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this one. I just want to do a real quick one, a quick sale video, uh, video here. If you guys are interested in that, and thank you everyone else that bought from the previous one. I sold my uh, down under knife. Right away when I did the video, I sold my two uh, Luzon uh, folding knives. I sold uh, another, I think another BK knife that I had. I mean, I sold quite a few stuff, pretty much everything that I posted last time. So thank you all again for the support and uh, for helping me get some more content. Cause again, I, you know, just like all US man, everything's getting more expensive and like, like everyone else in the same boat, right? We're off to start pinching pennies a little bit and I gotta start flowing a few of these out to bring other stuff in, so. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next knife, gun or whatever.